Hey everyone, you know it's been about two years but things might just be getting back to normal after all because rather than Covid, the main news stories this week have been royal gossip and the weather. Let's look at the first of those stories, the Prince Andrew saga, which concluded with him agreeing to settle the matter out of court and thus changing the nursery rhyme to quote, the grand old Duke of York, he had 12 million quid, he gave it to somebody he never met for something he never did. At least that's his opinion on it all. In America of course there's a far ruder version of that rhyme where it talks about 15 million bucks. All things considered, it's a real shame for the public, in part because this would have been the trial of the century, and then it's in America, so it would have been televised. The Emily Maitlis interview was great, of course, but it was too short at only an hour long. Imagine if those internet memes and quotes and bizarre stories kept going on with new twists and revelations every day for months. Alas, it will not be the case, though, and in a further kick in the teeth of the public, we're going to be stumping up £7 million to him, apparently, as a compensatory result of him being kicked out of his grace and feather home at Windsor. I guess the irony in all this is that Virginia will be getting so much taxpayers' money that she'd normally be the sort of person the Rawls would get on pretty well with. In other news, Storm Eunice has been hammering the country, and it's at times like this that you really wish that Bruce Forsyth was still alive so he could be introducing the weather. Nice to see you, to see you, nice. Eunice, works better written down I guess. Anyway, the story's been presented, of course, with round-the-clock footage of badly shot iPhone videos that viewers have sent in via social media. Although this has, of course, been topped up by armies of camera crews driving around the country in large diesel-burning trucks urging members of the public to use less fossil fuels in future. My favourite personal shot was the one of the wind turbine that had been blown over. Hashtag, you had one job. Although there's also some scary footage posted on YouTube of pilots trying to land large passenger aircrafts that he threw against an 80-mile-an-hour sidewind. Not to be mistaken, of course, with that other story that he threw about the pilots that are three sheets to the wind. Of all the single images shown in the news, probably the most shocking one was that one of the Millennium Dome, or the O2 Arena as it's now known, with several roof sections missing. Well, what goes around comes around, I guess. You know, at least now the owners know what it feels like, quote, to be ripped off. Get it? And finally, uh, in other news, apparently America is sending B-52s to Europe. Not sure where exactly, although I do like that song they do about the Love Shack. Anyway, see you next week. Like these, click subscribe.